Oh, she's pretty. He's definitely a young bird. He's just not afraid of us. If it was an older hen, she would take off already. Well, old hens got a brighter red head. Yeah, too. like the one I shot. Mm -hmm. You see, she doesn't have no giblets. Like nope, she's hella young. The first bear crap, bear crap.
Oh, he's coming. You think he's gonna come right here? Dude, I've never, dude, I've never taken a shot this close. It's gonna be a problem. I've never taken a shot this close. Respond earlier. How come you didn't reply earlier? No, because we were over there earlier, right? That's weird. Oh. <laughs> well, like I said, we roosted this bird yesterday. The, pri pri the private boundary is right here. He came to right here. And he's gobbling. See? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just see? in there in that we little pool. Cool. That's why I said we can go up and go around yeah, here. Yeah, see that. It's push it from that side. side. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the trail just keeps going up there, and then you'll see a bunch of cut logs and they'll cut across. Let's just go do that. Oh, he came in. He came in for a little bit. We were waiting for him right here. <laughs> 12 yards. <laughs> 12 yards. I was worried. <laughs> I was just like, dude, I've never taken a 12 yard shot on my feet. I, I would miss. I would hit low. <sighs> well, we're going to go into the gorge that he's in. Try to call him in. 
Who knows? Maybe he has a buddy or two with him. We'll find out. <laughs> so, we're PCP squad today. Got my hats in now. He's got his uh, origin. Origin. Doing freaking rocking Crocs. Need Crocs. Okay, whatever. This is in. So it's just, just not even hunting shoes. Crazy I know job. another three birds that, but they've been uh, pressure. I don't know if you want to go give it a try. We can go try it, eh? I don't care. It's it's the one that I was telling you that it's fucking almost five inch long, huh? I don't care. It's that one. We can go. I'm having fun, dude. See, the problem is they, they're they responding to the freaking coyote call, but they're not responding to anything else. <laughs> no, but then see, once you hit him with the coyote and then I hit you know him with where the it's at. Yeah. he started coming and he was responding. Dude, this guy was responding up until he got spooked by the dog in the car. Yeah, the dog barked. I, I wonder if some, there's somebody with the dog. So we made it to the second spot, set up, and uh, we called. And we just first we just did some light calling and we sat for 13 minutes exactly. And then uh, I hit him with the, like when we, we did a couple of yelps and it responded, so we just shut up and sat there. 13 minutes later, we did a couple more yelps, he didn't answer. I did a coyote howl, and he's way down the road. Like, he left out of the vicinity. So, plan B. Next group of birds, or wherever, we can go to another spot, try to locate some more birds. We're doing pretty good today, so far. First spot located a bird, so hopefully the next spot is as, as successful. And hopefully the birds come in. Well, there's still turkeys here. Here's a hen. Are you recording the right spot? Nope. There she is. All alone, bro. Yeah, she's all alone. I left this over that hump right there. Yeah. See. Just a lone hen. She's probably like Dude, 100 yards from us. She might even be on the nest, bro. I think she's on the nest. No, she's not. She's not. She's about to take off. She's about to take off. She's gonna turn. You're gonna see a deer. Pearls. <laughs> We're just walking out and uh, I just happened to see a figure that looked like a head. Oh, we still got, we got a fresh, fresh tom trap, no tom trap. We stepped on it a couple times already. I think it's because of her. Dude, I wonder if it's that strutter. It might be. What do we do? He's not responsive. She's not leaving. Yeah. Dude, what if there's a tom bedder around there somewhere? That's probably why she's not moving. Dude, that's all fresh. That is, that's super fresh, dude. I'm not even joking, guys. This is so fresh. I can, I can smear it. See that? <laughs> that's all fresh that was. Like it's, hen, it's hen poop now. <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna know. What do you want to do? I don't know. It's up to you. The thing is, we don't know if he's still here or not. That says that he was probably here right when we got here. When was yeah. So he's still here, but just. I think he's gonna come back because of this. He might have just been here because of that hand, though. Let's find out. Are you coyote? Yep. <laughs> yep, we can't hunt birds. We can't see or hear, so. She should be right on that pile of wood right there. Damn. So maybe I was hearing that song earlier down here. Yeah. The wind said that there's one of Alright guys. Welcome back to another video. I ran into some fine gentlemen down here. They're out here playing the archery. And I've been meaning to retire my archery buck. I already got the head cut off. <laughs> so I gave him the archery buck. Anyways. Uh, I'm out here at one of my older hot spots that I used to hunt. I haven't hunted this place in a couple of years to be honest, but I'm here now and hopefully, hopefully I'll find this something. the fun part, hiking up the hill. <laughs> I 
find it kind of funny. Uh, I've been hunting like the low stuff, right? Like low country. And I haven't been using decoys. I've been just going at it. And then, uh, I come out to these, uh, backcountry stuff and uh, I'm packing my decoy. <laughs> See, Onyx got me a little worried because it's going cuckoo on me. My blue line, I don't know where I'm actually at. My tracker line and where I'm actually at is telling me two different things. I know I'm on public, but it's still freaky because uh, I don't want to actually wander onto private. On top of that, all these brush that I'm going through, man, they're like uh, rattlesnake stuff. So it's a little sketchy, but honestly, sometimes you just gotta kind of go at it. And just be really careful and watch out when you step. Which is kind of what I'm doing, but it's still always scary because there's been times where I'm watching now, of course, and I'm walking, right? And then I'll come up to a pile of log or branch like this, and I'm standing here. And then I just see a rattlesnake weaving his way in and out and goes. I'm like, oh shit. So, seeing stuff like that, it always freaks me out a little. This trail should be flat all the way. As you can see, not used ever. Followed by game. I would say just by game because uh, there's no road access to this trail. You can barely make out the trail. It's like barely discernible. guys this every year and I'm gonna tell you again always come down the path you know is safe you can see this straight up flat I gotta come down that because I decided to take a different route that brings me right to the trailhead not smart I could have just took the regular route and because of that I had to take a straight down climb. going on guys I'm set up today right by private in public you guys know that I'm hunting here so I got a decoy set up right here that's a strutting tom with a hen or a strutting jake with a hen set up 15 yards in front of me
I had some toms come up earlier. Not come up, but they were they were gobbling, and then it sounds like I had a group of jakes gobbling with it too. So this is a very grassy area, but I know of some toms that live here, and they do travel through here on this section of public here and there. So as you can see, this side here is grass. But yeah, as you can see, it's all grass fields as well. So this is kind of like a lounging area, I guess you could say. They come here to feed. And I'm tucked in here under this oak tree. There's a ton of mosquitoes here. There's so many mosquitoes, it's not even funny. I got my pond set up here, or my, my decoy set up here. So when I showed up, just over this hill, I heard two toms. But yes, just over this hill, I heard two toms gobbling when I got here. So I only did a couple of yelps, and then I've shut up since then. That was 30 minutes ago. Yeah, so a lot of people have been telling me to call less. So I'm gonna call less. And hopefully these toms come over here. But I did hear what sounded like three jakes. Kind of gobbling. Because it was a different pitch. So yeah, when I first came in, I pulled up in a park, and I heard the gobbles right away. They they gobbled as I pulled in because they heard my car, I'm guessing. Yeah, I heard two gobbles as I pulled in, and it was like, you know, kind of, it has that echo to it. And then I did a couple just chirp, 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 and then... I heard the two gobbles again, like low pitch, and then right away I heard three different sounds together, and it was like, you know, <laughs> high pitch without the uh, echo in the back. So I was like, I think those three are Jakes and these two are Toms. That's that's what I'm guessing. So uh, that's how I think what Jakes and Toms are. Yeah, I'll let you guys decide and let me know, because like I said, I'm still new to turkey hunting. I'll let you guys decide and let me know if my assumption is correct. Well, there's a Tom. He won't cross the fence. Probably because he's more for him to cross. But he's just sitting there looking at the, at the decoys. Yep, he's just sitting across the fence. He doesn't want to cross. I've done a couple of like my yelps. He doesn't even care. He's an old bird. He he knows what's up already. So I've actually already packed up everything in the car, but. I messed with the setup and there's a bad block in it and I have too much photo in it. So I gotta go back in and go pull my camera. Because I didn't bring a memory card. And my memory card is full. And there's just <laughs> too much stuff on it. I need to delete it. So I gotta make my way back in to go grab my memory, my control camera. So there's my trail camera. You see that branch? It broke in the tree. Must have been really bad wind because a lot of branches broke off. As you guys can see, a ton of branches broke off. And it, this was over my camera like that. So I just got a bunch of branch pictures. 
kind of unfortunate, but it happens sometimes. Mother nature at her best. So, I'm just gonna put this in bow. Yeah, making my way back out, back to the trailhead, back to my car. Hope you guys had good luck this season. Um, I had decent luck, not so much as in harvesting, but um, I ran into a lot of turkeys, so I have something as success. But yeah, uh, hope you guys are having a great season. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, I'm just here, I'm in my car now. And uh, see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tagging along, guys.